Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Connie and I'm going to show you how to open a blockchain wallet. So let's go do that. Well, the first thing that you need to do is of course go to your browser and type in the blockchain.com link to go there, of course, and then you have to sign up. So as you can see on my screen, it tells you here on the right side, you can click on sign up. Well, this is then the page that you will see and you need to well, create your wallet here. Well, I always recommend people to use a Gmail account. So if you don't have a Gmail account yet, then make one right now before you go on here making your blockchain wallet. Okay. Well, of course, a strong password is really, really important. So try to use 20 characters or something to uh, well, create your password and confirm also that same password. Well, you have to click on I have read and agreed to the terms of service and privacy policy. So be sure that you read that. Okay. And then click on continue. Of course, the first thing you need to do right now is go to your email because there's an email there and you need to click on that, uh, what you see on my screen. So when you do, then it will open up and it will tell you and ask you if this is really your email. So you need to click on that button that you see over there. Yes, this is my email and then you will go on. But underneath you see your wallet ID number. Well, this is not your wallet address. So be aware this is an ID of your wallet and this is the ID that you log in with. But I will come back to that later. Okay. So when you go back to your other window, then click on login. Well, when you are on that screen where it says welcome back, then your wallet ID will be already in, uh, in there. And you need to well, put in your password that you created and click on continue. When you do, then there will be a pop-up or there can be a pop-up that you need to authorize uh, that in your email. Okay, so go back to your email right now. So in your email, you can see that you need to authorize to log in. And this is security for your safety. Okay, so click on that button that you see in your email. When you do, it will tell you you've successfully verified your email address and return to the previous tab to access your wallet account. So when you go to your wallet account, of course, then you are inside the blockchain website. And the first thing we are going to do is click on the left where you see buy and sell. Then on the right, when you do that, you see buy and sell Bitcoin. Well, of course, we need to select your country first. So here on my screen, you see United Kingdom. So this is an example, of course. But if you are from the US or another country, please select your country and then click on next. Well, now we have to create an account, of course. So to get started, create and verify your account in a matter of minutes. We'll need your email, personal info and ID. So, well, of course, there's a verified email there and then you can click on continue. Well, put in your personal details when you see this screen and then go on to the next thing. And then we have the last step and let's confirm it's you because they want to uh, well, uh, have a conf confirmation that your identity is really you. So uh, you need to have a government issued password, a passport, a driver's license or a national identity card. So if you have one of those three, then you can just go on 
do that. And it will tell you a lot more also, but just go on here from this page. Well, then it's time to look at your best as security purposes. This session may be recorded. So be sure that you have your identity document ready. Please pick the country that issued it. So please click on that to uh, well, select whatever you need to have. Well, when you do, of course, then uh, it will tell you what country you're in. And then uh, first we'll match your face against a photo ID safely and securely. Which document would you like to use? So just choose in whatever document you want to use. So if you have a passport or a residence permit, so that's your ID. And then you have your driver's license and then click on start. Well, of course, I'm not going to go further on that because then you need to, well, take a picture and I need to verify it's you, of course. And then when that's all done, you can go into your blockchain wallet and then we are going to click on buy and sell again because we want to have some Bitcoin in our wallet to start with. Okay, so this is an example only for Bitcoin. Of course, you can do that with Ethereum. You can do that with Bitcoin Cash and with Stellar too. But in this case, I'm going to show you uh, how to do that with Bitcoin. So then you see the arrow over there. I want to buy and you just fill in in how many dollars if you are in the US, how many dollar or if you are in England, uh, well, just uh, pounds, of course. And then fill in how much you want to uh, well send in here. So if you want to do that with, let's say, a hundred dollars or a hundred pounds, then just fill in a hundred and then it will automatically uh, calculate how much that is in Bitcoin. Then after that, click on continue. Well, when you do, you need to select a payment method. Well, you can do that by bank transfer and you can do that by credit or debit card. Well, uh, what I can tell you guys is if you, ha if you have a credit card, then please use that because that's the fastest way and the cheapest way. If you do it with the bank transfer, there's nothing wrong with that, but uh, it will cost you less fee. But because you're maybe in another country and uh, they are in another country, it can take up to uh, well, $25 uh, pounds or euros to transfer that money. So it will not take you $100 to get in. No, it will take you more because those 25 uh, well, USD or Euro or whatever will be on top of that. Okay, so keep in mind that if you want to do that with bank transfer, it will cost you a lot more. Okay. So when you choose for the credit card, then uh, well, you will see whatever you filled in. And of course, your amount will be there. And in this example, uh, well, it's pounds. And then you see your payment fee. So if you do that with uh, your credit card, then uh, it's a lot less, as you can see. And you see your total cost. Well, then after that, you need to click that uh, well, box that you see, uh, very small down there. But click that and then click on Submit. Well, then they need your payment details, of course. So you need to fill in the name on your card and the credit card number. Then underneath you see the month and the year that you need to uh, do what's on your card and the CVV number and that's on the back of your credit card. So you can find it. It's three digits and you can just find it over there. And then after that you click on continue. Well, then you have to wait until that money is in your wallet, of course. So, uh, well, to check uh, if it's there, just, uh, well, you can log out and just log in again and then see if it's there. And if it's already there, then go to the blockchain wallet 
as you can see here what I made red over there. So if you go there, then uh, of course you see all that you have in your Bitcoin wallet. Well, uh, to jump on and to know where your wallet address is, because a lot of people are asking where is my wallet address that I need to have to send it to someone else to receive Bitcoin from another person or another company. So it's really easy because then you click on request and there you can find your wallet address. So when you click on that, you see this screen and you see that you have your currency there and the receive to and you can just change that into a, another currency, of course. And then underneath you see your receive address. So this is the address of your wallet. So when you want to receive Bitcoin, then use that address and then click on done. Well, when you want to send some Bitcoin, you click on send. Well, that's easy, right? So when you do, then this is the page that you will see and you see a two. So if you want to transfer Bitcoin to a, a company or another person, then just fill in that Bitcoin address underneath you see two. Then you have the amount. Well, you can choose in how you fill that in. So you can uh, fill in, uh, well, let's say in this example, $100, or you can do that in Bitcoin, and it will automatically uh, well, show you what it is in USD. Well, the description is purely for yourself, and it's optional. So if you want to fill that in uh, about where it came from or uh, whatever uh, you want to send it to, then of course you can do that. And then you have your network fee. Well, it's always on regular. Uh, I would always recommend you guys to uh, not mess with this, but if you know what you're doing, then you can click on that button regular and it will go to priority and it will go in a lot faster. So the transfer will be a lot faster than when you leave it on regular. And it tells you also it has an estimated confirmation time of plus one hour uh, and that's an, uh, well, just an example of course. So you can see on the right uh, there it says zero Bitcoin and you can see how much fee you are going to pay in order to send that Bitcoin to that person or the company that you want to send it to. And then you click on continue. Well, when you click on continue then uh, <clears throat> maybe you have uh, well, a security over there and you need to fill in a second password or whatever. So when you need to do that, then of course do that first. And then you can see that uh, if you are in your back office and you click on the Bitcoin, then you see what you send. Well, uh, on the right side, you see the amount that you send to that company or that person. Well, in order to know where your transaction ID is to uh, send it to a company and that company is asking for a blockchain transaction ID, then you just have to click in that uh, well, range where you see my arrow. And if you click on that, then a window will open down. And as you can see here on my screen that uh, underneath you see the status. And on the right side, you see a, a square little box. And if you click on that square little box, then there you will find here your transaction ID. So if a person or a company is asking for a blockchain transaction ID, then this is where you can find that. Okay. So. Uh, well, last and not least, of course, you need to know how to uh, well, sign out and to log out and where to find everything in your blockchain wallet. So if you click on settings, you can find general, you find your profile, your preferences, your wallet and your addresses. And there you can also sign out. So when you're signing out, of course, it's going to ask you to deauthorize your browser. Always do that for security purposes because 
you don't want to leave it open longer than necessary okay so this is uh, really how you do all these things and how you open a blockchain wallet so uh, i will leave it at that and i hope you enjoyed it of course so uh, for the next time i will see you bye bye